Hey YouTube, John with Grunt Reviews. Today, another Turkish shotgun in the shoot. This will be our unboxing and tabletop on the SDS Imports BLP M12AB. So I'll put the link to the, uh, to the AA up above me here. Um, same basic shotgun, a few different little modifications there, but guys, as always, go down below, hit the like button, that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you stay up to date with uh, everything we're doing here at the channel. And if you like what we're doing for you, uh, guys, feel free to share us with your friends, and there's a buy me a coffee link down in the description. We, uh, we always appreciate uh, any contributions from, uh, from our viewers, and let's get into it. Without further ado, we are going to get this bad boy uh, unboxed. So right on the top, of course, we do get the owner's manual and instructions there. We get, let's see what's in this little box. All right, so we get uh, the, actually, a couple of wrenches in here. We get a choke set. With a looks like their adapter choke, so you can add uh, the muzzle device of your choice on there, and then uh, a complete or two extra chokes. And I would gather there is already one in the shotgun. A set of Magpul style uh, flip up sights. We get, of course, a single five round magazine. So that's everything in that little box. Get that off to the side here. We get our, uh, this one's actually kind of a foam grease bag. All right. We will, there we go. And then a little bit extra foam there. Let me get the box out of the way. And move the manual. And we are left with the shotgun. So pretty simple, just a uh, just a basic cardboard box, a single magazine, uh, four chokes total. And guys, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this sucker up on the stand and we'll take a closer look. So as always, we will start at the top and uh, work our way down to the bottom. Um, of course, we have a, a full length aluminum uh, Picatinny rail right along the top. We have a relatively easy to use, a nicely knurled uh, barrel takedown nut for removing that upper receiver. Of course, we do get a, looks like the Benelli uh, mobile style chokes there. Does come, of course, with that lovely, uh, the lovely Turkish cheek riser that they like to add to pretty much uh, each and every shotgun they do. Let's see if this one's actually tight. That tightened down. So, uh, of the ones I've tested, this seems to be the, the one with the least amount of wiggle to it. Um, I would still recommend essentially removing this, and if anybody from Turkey is watching this, just a basic pad there for heat shielding would work great. We don't necessarily need the riser on a uh, on an optics platform that's this low um, butt pad going to be very similar to their uh, to their uh, AA model um, is solid has a decent feel to it it is reasonably uh, reasonably grippy for uh, use on your shoulder grabbing your clothes keeping it in that shoulder pocket moving up front the big difference between, uh, or the AB has over the AA, is it does come with a Magpul style vertical foregrip instead of the, or angled foregrip, excuse me, instead of, uh, which comes with a vertical foregrip. Uh, of course, all these Turkish shotguns come with the, for whatever reason, what appears to be the end of a cane on the charging handle. That does expose our actual 
charging handle itself has a little bit of texture to it and it is uh, it is reversible so you can run it right side or left side pull it out stick it in the controls very uh, very AR-esque so we have our mag release on the right side and our bolt release on the left side there control wise so this uses a little bit more standard AR style grip. Yep. So it does have the screw in the bottom, so it does appear that this will take any standard uh, AR style grip of your choice. Just a standard uh, Allen head key in there. And of course they do give you that little bit of storage down there in the grip. Is nice to be able to have a, uh, a little bit of customization to it, or you can customize it with ease. Safety is a left side only AR style thumb safety there. And then we get the nice little, uh, eh, nice looking cutouts, if you will, on the, uh, on the magazine well itself. Something I should also highlight on this one, this actually does have a ambi mag release. So your primary is on the right side, but you do also have, if I can get my finger on it, a mag release on the left side as well. So is eh, kind of a nice feature to be able to use, put your magazine in there, release it with your thumb, put your new one in and be able to do it all with your left hand if that is your choosing. Um, of course, left-handed shooters, the ejection port is, uh, is right there on the right is no way to reverse it so you do have to worry about uh, brass uh, giving you some free dental work so something to be aware of if you are a lefty and give me one second i'm going to grab my lyman trigger gauge and we're going to check out the trigger all right grab the old uh grab the old lyman trigger gauge let's get an initial feel for this bad boy so Pretty heavy trigger and a quick break. So this one is a little bit different from the uh, from the AA model. So lots of weight and a break. Let's check the reset. Long, notchy, but audible reset. And you're right back on that wall. Little bit of creep there once you hit the wall and then the break. And then one more on that reset. And reset, back to break. It is definitely uh, on the heavier side and we're about to test that right now. Um, but I do like that you don't have a, a ton of pre-travel. Um, hopefully that should clean up a little bit with some firing. It is a little bit notchy. I'll also uh, preface that with this is in the sub $500 range. I think these are oh three to three fifty, depending on depending on where you can find them and if they're in stock. So take that into consideration as well. Definitely not a match grade gun. All right, and first pull here. And 11 pounds, 8.1 ounces. Eleven pounds, fourteen point one ounces. Eleven pounds, six point four ounces, and one last one. Yeah, that was a little bit better. Ten pounds, three point two ounces. So I'm gonna say uh, this is gonna be somewhere in the, uh, on average, the eleven pound range. Um, definitely heavy. 
Definitely getting what you're, pay, uh, what you're paying for there, but definitely a serviceable trigger. Um, overall feel of this, very well balanced. As all bull pups, it does move that, move that weight to the rear. Um, kind of hard to use the angled foregrip on this. Um, would honestly prefer a vertical, and I'm not a vertical foregrip guy. Um, it just has kind of a weird feel on this chassis, but it is definitely usable, and that is also going to be a personal preference thing. Somebody else may love this. Um, we do get a couple of usable slots. So we do have the um, operation mechanism on uh, these four or eight. Uh, there's four on either side. So it looks like your only slots available are going to be the uh, two on either side on the front. And then I believe there is some pick rail. If we pull this angled foregrip off, there is some pick rail underneath it that, that mounts to. But overall, first impressions, it feels good. Um, has a good weight to it without being overly heavy. Um, very well balanced in the hand. Safety has a good positive feel to it. Um, the magazine release on both sides definitely feels, um, feels solid, doesn't feel overly cheap. And we're going to... Um, bolt catch works as well. The grip, not terrible. Um, it's got kind of a almost hogue feel, not quite rubber, but not quite plastic. Um, somewhere in the middle, not terrible, terrible in the hand, but I would probably uh, put a Magpul, probably something like a K2 on it. And I prefer that little bit more aggressive plastic feel on my grips. Um, but guys, we are going to get this bad boy out to the range, see if it performs any better or any worse uh, than the AA version. Um, so definitely, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date. And as always, stay safe, train hard.